Welcome back and in this video we're going to be talking about some last minute tips and tricks and advice that you guys definitely need. So I hope you find this video useful and if you did be sure to like, subscribe. The first thing that I want to tell you guys is that make sure you do the exam practice in time conditions. Now that we have less than 10 days, make sure you're practicing these questions in time conditions. Make sure you do this. From now on, I want you to do every single exam question in exam practice. You can find plenty of exam questions on my website. So go ahead and do that. Time conditions is very important because in the exam, you're not gonna have unlimited time. So for example, if, it, if a question is four marks, give yourself five minutes to do it. I know it's not like one mark per minute, but the second thing is that make sure you read the question actively. The key is get a pen and underline those keywords. So for example, understand what the question is trying to ask you to do. So for example, if this question is to do with 1.3 networks, if this is the CPU question, if it's asking you to define, you give the definition. If it's asking you to explain, you have to explain. If it says difference, make sure you do a difference. So yeah, make sure you read the question. Tip number three is that if you come across a horrible exam question, which of course will happen, it happens year on and year in. So if that does happen, make sure you stay calm and collective because if you've had that issue, everyone else is gonna have that issue. So the best thing to do is stay calm and skip it temporarily and leave yourself enough time so that you can come back to it. Once you come back to it, try and think where this comes into your uh, spec. So if it's 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. 1 also don't spend too long on one question. It's a 90 minute exam. You don't want to be spending 10 minutes on a two marker. Just skip it. Spend that time on a five marker or a six marker instead. Also, um, the essay question, make sure you're giving yourself enough time, at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes, two minutes, four minutes to plan. I always say plan your answer. Also with the four markers, try and have a mental plan as well. Think about what you're going to write before you actually write it. Try every single exam question. I don't want you guys to leave anything blank. Yeah, even if it's something, just write it down. Best case scenario, you're going to get it right. Worst case, you're going to get it wrong. But at least you've written it. At least you know for certain you're not going to get it wrong. So make sure you put something down. Fourth thing is make sure you have a brilliant sleep the night before and also you have breakfast. The last thing you want to do is go in that exam room and have your belly rumble and trying to fall asleep. Like you have to focus on this man. When you're in the exam, make sure you focus 100% into that paper. You can't have any other distractions like food, what you had for lunch, nothing. Focus, focus, focus. Make sure you're having enough sleep, enough food. You don't want to be cramming until 4 a.m. in the morning and then sleeping for two hours. That's a no-no. Also, when you're lining up, don't talk to anyone. I know your friend's probably like, oh, did you revise? Did you do this? No, 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 no. You're in your own world. I want you guys to be focused, so focused that no one can even tell you anything. You're in your own mind, you know you're going to go inside that exam room and smash it. You've done all this hard work, you don't want it to go in waste just because you, your friend said something bad and then you, you went in a bad mood. Do not speak to anyone, just be in your own mind and go in that exam room prepared, knowing that you're going to get grade 9. That's the best way to, to, that's the best advice I can give you. The final thing is that thank you so much for supporting this channel. Like I've only started on 24th um, December or January, but yeah, it, the support has been crazy and we've made this community. I hope that everyone does well. I'm wishing every single one of you best of luck, best wishes. I hope that everyone gets the grid that they deserve and I hope that I've helped you guys achieve it. And again, think about the summer. You're putting in the hard work now, it's gonna definitely pay off. You're definitely gonna have a brilliant summer and just think about opening that result and getting that grade 9. That should be your drive. So yeah, make sure you apply everything that I've said. So number one, to recap, number one, do the exam questions in time conditions. Step number two, actively read and highlight key parts of the question. Step number three, don't spend too long on the question. And if it's a horrible one, come back to it and stay calm. Don't get like overwhelmed. Four is to have, be focused and have breakfast and sleep well. And number five is good luck. Hopefully the exam goes very well and let me know how it goes. I'll see you in the next one. Maybe not. Who knows?